Hello, everybody, and I uh, welcome you all to this online session to learn more about the programs uh, about getting started with bioinformatics in R and in Python. So in this program, generally, we will discuss about uh, how data-driven research is in life sciences and, and different opportunities that come with analyzing or uh, understanding high throughput technologies and the data associated with high throughput technologies and computational methods, various computational methods that is used for analysis annotation of such detailed data in leading industrial and research applications. So we will discuss about various data types, different analytical and statistical methods used for uh, analyzing and understanding the data and the patterns in the data, and also to, um, uh, and the impact of such analysis on healthcare, environmental sciences, public health and agriculture, et cetera, et cetera. So today let's learn more about the program, uh, about, uh, about the necessary tools that is required for performing these analysis methods. So, so I am Raghavendran, a bioinformatics mentor from Pine Biotech, and I'll be one of your mentors throughout your journey uh, in, this, uh, in this field of bioinformatics and with Omics Logics. So as Sonalika mentioned, the goal of Omics Logics program is to provide you uh, enough training in bioinformatics and to enable you independent, uh, to perform independent research guided by mentors and by other peer examples. We also facilitate developing a growing community with a sharing passion for data-driven research and appreciation for uh, citizen sciences. So in these programs that you see and the associated learning resources, you will, oh, it's running, wait a second, it's, yeah. Uh, You will see broad applications of next generation sequencing, and you will see applications of how biostatistics and how tools for uh, tools for these omics data analysis are used uh, in the environment of uh, R and in Python. So the learning resources resources will be focused on the logic and the application of uh, um, data science methods for biomedical data uh, in programming environment like R and also in Python. So. Uh, this will also provide you technical in-depth review of coding with these languages and uh, this will also help you in um, with the help of practical assignments uh, you will be learning about how the logic of bioinformatics and see how these methods can be used to study biology in general so in in conclusion you will also be able to plan how to take what you have learned so far and apply it to an independent research project using tools and methods we cover uh, in the program. So we will review generally the concepts behind common challenges in biomedical data analysis, that is finding signal in noisy data sets and to find biological explanation for the results. We will also see challenges and applications, uh, challenges and opportunities to use general statistical methods and advanced statistical methods to find complex molecular characteristics and patterns that can be associated with the phenotypical conditions and biological conditions that we can interpret. So at the basis of this, uh, there is so much interest in uh, data science from biology and from medical uh, community uh, these days. And, and the researchers from both the fields are gen and uh, researchers from bioinformatics and biology uh, field are generating massive amounts of data. And as any field that has huge amounts of data, people are interested in what this data can offer so people like uh, people from data science methods can uh, can actually um, uh, perform this analysis purely from data science perspective and understand the uh, patterns from the data so this processes of uh, analyzing this data and filtering these large data sets and produce meaningful biological and medical insights by application of statistical and uh, machine learning models and methods are actually yeah, are actually driving these uh, results and this uh, research further. So uh, in order to be able to uh, succeed in this, uh, in this research or in, this, uh, in the research of bioinformatics, you need not be expert in everything, but you should at least have some practical experience in, in uh, in coding and in domain specific data processing and in uh, general uh, filtering and uh, data transformation techniques and in application of uh, statistical, uh, basic statistical and advanced statistical methods and machine learning methods. So you should be able to uh, understand several 
different methodologies used to analyze uh, big data or big omics data. So uh, being able to write code or being able to understand the code that is written, written by others is, uh, is one, of, uh, the, one of the most um, uh, prerequisite to proceed further and understand, develop a deeper understanding in bioinformatics and, and data science methods for big data uh, analysis. So um, uh, by the end of this program, we will enable you to understand uh, different methodologies that are discussed in, uh, in the publication and to uh, be able to use, understand codes that are available and with the associated uh, publications and, and also uh, being able to um, uh, uh, generate or being able to develop your own code for, uh, for the analysis of uh, next generation sequencing data. So this field, as we know, has developed tremendously in, in the last several decades, transforming life sciences and, it, and enabling uh, biomedical research. So as a result, we have many new discoveries, and uh, most of these discoveries uh, are the result of genera uh, generation of large amounts of omics data. That includes phenomics data, genomics data, epigenomics, and different omics data from different uh, molecules that characterize the cells of organisms. So many of these omics data can be generated using next generation sequencing methods, or which is also known as high throughput sequencing methods. The data here um, show a de detailed information about genomic variants, about the patterns of the gene, or patterns of the gene expression, isoform expression, and different. Uh, mm, um, molecular characteristic of the cell that can be associated with the phenotypical or biological state of the cell that we are studying. So, to, in order to explore further with the with um, with the programming environment, we will take variety of research examples. Excuse me, my computer is not responding. Yeah, we will take variety of research uh, examples and and learn about the logic behind each steps and. Uh, uh, each of these steps of using omics data or big data to study uh, cancer tissue biology and microbiome, for example, in um, in in some of the project uh, and uh, uh, associated project examples that we are going to discuss with in this program. So basically, as I, as we had uh, discussed already, there is a tremendous amount of omics data that has been gender, uh, generated. But most of these generated methods or generated uh, data has been is, is, is unstructured. So uh, one of the challenges of converting or one of the challenges of uh, uh, applying different machine learning methods and machine learning uh, different uh, data science methods and uh, analytical methods is to convert these unstructured data into structured data. So uh, uh, for to enable this, uh, this conversion of, or to enable generation of this structured data from these unstructured data, uh, we also have several other programs and several other uh, uh, courses that deals with uh, how uh, structured data can be generated from um, uh, genomics data, unstructured genomics data, transcriptomics data, and et cetera, et cetera. So once you have structured data and, and uh, we can use uh, a programming environment or coding environment like uh, R and or Python to uh, understand or to um, getting started with the excuse me yeah uh, getting started with uh, with understanding the logic or coding skills that you need to uh, um, try and uh, learn about the patterns that are uh, that 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 are buried deep into the data so we can. Uh, go over this in, 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 uh, in the associated lessons and most of the lessons and resources are uh, structured in, uh, in these uh, six uh, structured uh, structure, uh, um, uh, ladder. So first we have to understand the problem of what we are uh, going to deal with and then we learn the code. So we will go over this in, uh, uh, by, uh, by exploring some of the lessons and uh, uh, and go over this step by step. But in general, each of these lessons are structured as, as this. So we, we will just, uh, we will make you uh, familiarize with the problem or the statement or the aim of the lesson. And then we will help you uh, in understanding or in learning the code that is necessary to perform these analysis. 
and then we will also help you to um, learn key uh, parts or key syntax elements of the code so that you can modify the output or you can modify the method that will suit or that will make you or enable you to uh, appreciate the kind of analysis that is performed on the structured data. And then we will also have a, a different try it out, try it out yourself uh, section where we uh, give you a code block with uh, missing syntaxes or with incomplete uh, codes. So uh, from, from the learning that you had uh, acquired from learn the code section, you can apply it to these areas and to these uh, code blocks and then successfully run the code and thereby uh, enabling a deeper understanding of this coding. And then this also uh, helps you to modify some of the aspects of the code and then get a um, more clearer picture or uh, give a practical uh, hands-on experience of understanding the code. And then in the end, we also give you a, a, a much more detailed and much more elaborate assignment where uh, you will, you, uh, where you are expected to uh, not only to complete the syntaxes, but modify a few of the syntaxes and apply it to a, a different data set, for example, or apply it using a different methodology uh, so that you can gain an appreciation for the uh, code, uh, code lessons that you have learned so far. So this is a structure for both R and Python and again, my, yeah. So uh, this has several topics and is linked with, uh, uh, and is also linked with uh, example data sets using um, example data sets that are uh, properly, I mean, that are carefully curated um, for, um, curated from various research domains like cancer or infectious diseases, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. So we also provide a comprehensive experience in, uh, um, in, in, in an introduction to data science or machine learning methods in, in R and Python, using uh, R and Python and R. So you will also uh, enjoy uh, getting introduced to different machine learning tools and statistical analysis tools and how uh, you can apply that to various omics logic, uh, various omics data, so uh, to understand uh, the patterns and to understand the general um, biology behind the data. So each of these lessons, as I mentioned, comes with a practice console, and you can uh, use it right in the browser. So you don't have to go uh, out of the browser environment to practice these uh, codes that you are that you have learned so far. Um, so first, you, as I mentioned in learn the code section, you'll be learning about the logic, the syntax, and uh, uh, here in this practice console, you can test your understanding with hands-on experiences uh, um, and uh, hands-on exercises. So uh, as this video just mentions, you just complete the syntaxes and then uh, uh, click run to generate the output and to verify that you have uh, successfully completed the challenge so that um, you can uh, gain a deeper understanding of the code that is in it. So in, this, in, the, in the next section breakdown, you'll also learn about the objective and, and, uh, and strategy for any uh, given method. And then you will also see, uh, and you will also um, see how the code or how to code uh, uh, code for a solution or code for uh, for a problem by learning the syntax and testing your understanding with assignment and coding languages. So in the end of a Python lesson, for example, uh, you will be given or given access to a, uh, a collab notebook or, a, or an interactive uh, a notebook, which you can modify or which you can um, uh, uh, use to uh, uh, use to um, analyze for for a different data set or for a modified data set or for a modified methodology so that you not only uh, run or not only uh, try to run what was given in the lesson but also you can expand your understanding in in this coding uh, environment in, in general uh, so each of these uh, collab notebook will also be uh, um, supplemented or will also be uh, in, will also include uh, assignments and uh, these assignments can as i mentioned um, uh, can be comprised of uh, 
modification of the methods or uh, applying this methods or different types of methods to uh, different data sets or the same data set comparison of the uh, comparing the output and gaining some biological insights and you can submit these assignments to us uh, by completing this uh, this um, assignment uh, given at the end of the collab lessons so in the end, generally, you will be able to take the structured data that you generate from, uh, from a sequence, of, anal a sequence uh, of analysis pipelines to understand, uh, to apply to different areas of biomedical research, like uh, uh, clinical, like uh, phenotypic, and other different areas of biomedical research. So as, as I mentioned, we will, uh, um, uh, we will start from very basic. Uh, like um, how to understand or how to load uh, a uh, how to load um, a file in an environment like R and Python, uh, and uh, we will slowly build up uh, the complexity of your uh, programming uh, uh, requirements or uh, programming knowledge, and then in the end we will help you to uh, run uh, necessary statistical analysis, necessary exploratory analysis, and the different uh, statistical analysis so that we can. Um, discover patterns in real data sets that are used in the publications and used in the researchers to study and understand uh, molecular phenomena or biological phenomena at different levels. So, uh, yeah, this we already spoke about. This, this includes uh, uh, basic coding challenges like uh, um, loading data from, uh, from your computer that is in different format, like in comma separated format or in PXT format or or even Excel sources. And uh, you have to place these uh, loaded uh, uh, data into different data structures, and you will gain uh, a much more uh, detailed um, understanding of what these data structures and how uh, and what are the different structures that we are going to use to analyze on its data. So this you can perform in both in R and Python, and we have a parallel uh, uh, coding uh, and lessons and program running for both uh, R and Python. And um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, all of these coding lessons are actually organized uh, with, with plenty of comments and with plenty of descriptions so that each and every part of the syntax is actually uh, discussed. So in the end, at, at the culminating end of this program, well, you will be uh, explained or you will be given uh, access to uh, uh, access to model projects and example projects where we uh, take the curated data set or where we take the data set that is used in publications like this and curate this data set to apply uh, uh, either this uh, similar uh, statistical methods or different uh, data science methods uh, that can be applied to the uh, uh, curated data. And then the patterns within this data can be uh, uh, understood or can be uh, studied to relate to phenotypical characteristics like drug response or like uh, 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 like uh, <clears throat> different um, tumor stages or different patient stratification, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is not the only example projects that we will be discussing, and uh, by gaining access to the uh, Learnomics Logic platform. You will also gain access to different example projects that we have generated or we have uh, uh, we have um, developed for your deeper understanding uh, of uh, bioinformatics methods from uh, different omics data types. So let's quick.